The sixth lesson about the external and internal expulsion. Radioactive substance can enter the body through inhalation of air contaminated with radioactive elements through the digestive tract, for example, when drinking contaminated water while smoking, and sometimes through the skin with high contamination. The process of exposure to ionizing radiation on the environment objects of animated and inanimated nature is called irradiation. Depending on the location of the source of radioactive radiation in relation to the object, external and internal exposure are distinguished. Internal, external irradiation occurs if the radiation source is outside the irradiated object. It is created mainly by gamma radiation, X-ray and natural radiation. Its destructive power mainly depends on the radiation energy, duration, distance from the radiation source to the object and on protective measures. Internal irradiation occurs when the radiation source is inside the irradiated object. The main ways of penetration of radionuclides into the human body are gastrointestinal tract uh, by, uh, with food, water, uh, saliva, respiratory organs with inhalatory and dust, skin and Mucous membranes mainly when damaged. The most dangerous is the ingress of radioactive substance into the body through the respiratory system. This is due to the fact that the volume of air consumed by uh, a person is many times higher than the volume of water and food entering the body per day. Consequently, at the same volumetric concentration of radioactive substance with air and activity will arrive per day, that is a dozen times higher than that supplied with water and food. In addition, activity trapped in the air is more likely to penetrate the bloodstream and spread throughout the body and than when radioactive compounds are removed from the gastrointestinal tract. When a radionuclide enters the body, a person carries a source of radiation inside himself and can constantly increases the total dose of radiation. When ingested orally, radionuclides are absorbed in the gastrointestinal tract with the same probability as their stable isotopes, that is, some of them are part of the body for a long time, others are quickly extracted as a result of metabolism. The use of the absorption or coefficient of the main technical and natural radionuclides in the gastrointestinal Intentional tract and lungs are given in table. Many radionuclides, even after contact with intact skin, can penetrate the protective layer and can be carried throughout the body with the flow of lymph and blood. The rate of penetration depends on the type of chemical compound, the volatility of the elements, the temperature of the medium, etc. The human body contains all the chemical elements known in uh, the earth, crust, natural water, and atmospheric air. A feature of the behavior of chemical elements in the body it is a fairly constant and strict distribution of the across system, organ, and tissues. There are a number of features that uh, make internal exposure many times more dangerous than external exposure. With internal radiation, the time of radiation of body tissues increases, since in this case the radiation time coincides with the time spent by the radioactive substance in the body. Uh, also, the dose of internal radiation uh, rises sharply due to the particularly in, uh, infin infinitely small distance to tissues that are exposed to ionizing effects. Uh, third, uh, with internal radiation absorption of alpha particles by the stratum corneum of the skin is excluded. Fourth, with a few exceptions, radioactive substances are distributed unevenly in the tissues of the body and are selectively concentrated in individual organs, further increasing their exposure. Fifth, in the case of internal radiation, it is not possible to use the methods of protection that have been developed for external radiation. The degree of radiation hazard during internal exposure of a person is determined by a number of parameters. Firstly, route of entry, place of localization of radioactive substance in the body, duration of radioactive substance entering the human body, uh, the time spent by the emitter in the body, energy emitted by radionuclides per unit of time, 
the mass of the irradiated tissue, the ratio of the mass of the irradiated tissues to the mass of the human body, the amount of radionuclides in the body, that is the number of decays per unit of time and the type of radiation, the presence and combinations of these factors will lead to a wide variety of values that characterize the maximum permissible amount of radioactive elements in the air, water, inside the human body, and also characterize a more general indicator. The limit of the annual intake of radionuclides into the human body. This lesson is over. Thank you for your attention.